Alright, in this tutorial we are going to be creating some 3D isometric text basically recreating this look here uh, on the right here and before we get started there are essentially four orientations and layouts for isometric text or objects whatever you might be working with there's the lay the two two orientations where they're laying it looks like the text is laying or the two where the te looks like the text is vertical uh, for the purposes of this tutorial we're focusing on the the top two here the the two laying directions to achieve this look uh, so to get started, uh, we're going to be using the skew uh, transformation option here in the transformation docker on the right, and we'll be using the block shadow tool to get our color stripe layers and extrusions here to give us that three-dimensional look to our text. So for eat and sleep, I want this down into the right direction uh, laying so with my text selected I'm going to enter negative 30 in the X value and then I'm going to rotate negative 30 degrees I'm going to repeat that same thing for sleep because I want it going in the same direction so the value is still enters so I'll just hit apply and the skew and then another negative 30 for the rotation. For design, I want it going up and to the right, so it's just the positive values of the 30 degrees in the X, and then 30 degrees for the rotation. Now I want to just create my layout of my text just by scaling up design. We'll scale up eat and sleep slightly and move them into position. Uh, this is just a general position. We're going to adjust things a little bit once we get our extrusions. So to get our kind of extrusion layers with our text selected we're going to use the block shadow tool on the left here and I am using a value of 0.5 inches for my depth here and then to have the extrusion go straight up and down we want a value of 270 in our direction setting here Just hit enter once that's done with it still selected just hit control K to separate the extrusion from your font and just repeat the same process for the other the other two words so 0.5 inches and 270 for the direction control K select sleep and we'll do the same thing one more time 270 and control K now we have all the the single extrusion layer is done but for design I want to give it more emphasis by adding two more extrusion layers so we're just going to repeat the same process two more times but increasing our depth by 0.5 inches each time so let's quick change this to just light gray so we can see what we're doing select our font again block shadow tool and this time one inch for the depth and same 270 for the direction hit control K now select the separated object and hit shift page down to move it to the back and give it a different lighter gray and one more time with the block shadow tool and this one will be 1.5 inches and same 270 for the direction hit control K now we're going to select that extrusion object and send that all the way to the back. Once uh, 
Once you have all your extrusion layers done for your text, we just want to kind of tweak our, our layout a little bit to get our words kind of aligned in a pleasing manner. Uh, for sleep, we want to align to this inner edge of the N here. So we'll just move that out a bit. And we'll do like so. Once we have that done, we want to add our colors to the various objects and text. Uh, so for eat and sleep, I'm adding this lighter green as a fill. Just once you do one option of or action of copying the fill, you can select another object and hit Control R, and it will repeat the last command you did. So just a quick tip there. So we'll add our other colors to these extrusions. There, and then the dark orange. And I want to select all my original text and just change those to white to give a negative space effect or look to the design. <coughs> The last thing I want to do is to make it look like Eat and Sleep are floating off the ground. In order to accomplish that look, we want to make it look like there's a little shadow underneath the, the extrusion part. So if you select your text and hit the plus key on the numpad, it'll duplicate your whatever you have selected we're going to give it a just a light gray or blunt like light gray value and with them still selected hit shift page down to move them all the way to the back and we're just going to hold shift and move them straight down and then just kind of tweak the depth you can add a lot of depth so it looks like they're off the ground a lot or a little. I'm just going to go with a little bit off the ground. And the one thing I need to do is I had this bottom green edge aligned here, but I want the shadow to now be aligned with it. So I'm just going to select everything and hold shift and just nudge it up so it looks like the bottom edge of this edge of the end and the shadow layer, or shadow object is al are aligned on the same 30 degree axis. And once that's done, you have a finished isometric text design. Uh, you can do so many things with the various orientations and layouts of the text. Um, to get different looks and feels of feel of what you're doing for your design. If you liked this tutorial, click the like button, hit subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Uh, share this tutorial with anyone who you think might get a use out of it. Um, yeah, I try to post new videos every Tuesday or Wednesday and yeah if you like the the video comment below let me know future tutorials or videos you'd like to see and I will try to create them thank you for watching bye